We're now going to be looking at the craniocervical flexor um, function and endurance, so a neuromuscular test. Um, we're going to start off with the patient in a crook lie position. So could you bend your knees up for me? And just as Millie has, she's got her hands relaxed gently on her abdomen. Um, in this position, we want the individual to have um, head in a neutral position, so supported by either a pillow or a folded up um, towel. Um, and then from here, we're going to start off with palpation before we move into looking at the endurance of the flexors. So starting off with, I am just doing more palpation here down the spinous processes of the C-spine and either side as well bilaterally. To start off as well, we're looking for upper cervical flexion and control in this movement pattern as well. So you can ask the patient and cue them to do it actively, but you can also provide assistance into this position as well. So to start off with, Millie, I'm gonna ask you to gently nod your head down without lifting your head off the pillow. So could I get you just to gently nod down for me? Good, and then can you nod up for me as far as comfortable? Good, keep going all the way up, all the way up. Beautiful. If the individual has difficulty with their head coming into a flexed position and they've got limited range, you might guide them and see if they can come into more extension before coming into more flexion. So from here, we're just gonna tilt up a little bit more. Beautiful, and then from there, we're gonna come into that downward nod for me, keeping that head in the pillow, guiding them through the base of the occiput. Good, stopping there, coming back to the middle. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come into a chin tuck into that downward nod, and I'm gonna get you to hold that there. Then we're gonna perform the next part of this assessment, and that is seeing uh, if you can lift your head up against gravity with your chin maintained in a chin tuck position, okay? I'll then be counting and timing that and seeing how long you can hold it for. So you'll be coming into a chin tuck position, holding that there, um, and then I'm gonna be placing my hand just under the individual's head and feeling that they've just lifted their hair off the surface or about one to two centimetres. Some things we want to look for is we wanna make sure that the individual isn't overactive through their superficial muscles. If they are the individual, you can teach them to self-palpate and feel for that. The other thing we wanna look for is make sure they're not leading the movement coming out of cervical, upper cervical flexion into an extended position and leading with their chin. When we're observing, we can look for creases in the neckline uh, to ensure that they're maintaining an upper cervical flexed position uh, in this test. So let's give it a go. We are gonna start off just by having a look at this movement pattern first before timing it. So Millie, could I get you to come down into that tuck for me? So chin down for me, good. And then just coming back up for me again into that nod, good. And then we're gonna come down into a chin tuck position. And then from here, you're gonna lift just the hair off the bed for me. So just lift your head slightly, keeping that chin tucked and resting back down for me. So what we can see here is there is a little bit more probably activation of some of the, the muscles superficially. So Millie, we're gonna do that again, but I want you to bring your fingers here on the muscles and I just want you to repeat that movement for me. So chin tuck down, trying to minimize, we're still gonna get activity, but try to minimize how much these ones here are switching on. Good, and then nodding back. That's good. And then we're gonna come back down into that hold. And then I want you to come into that one centimeter lift, maintaining that chin tuck down. And then coming back down. Finally, when the patient has got that movement pattern successfully um, sorted out, then we're gonna do a timed hold and see how long they can hold that for. So we'll have a stopwatch position next to us and then we're gonna instruct to go into the movement pattern and for the individual to hold that movement for as long as possible, maintaining good quality. So Millie, we're gonna come into that chin tuck, chin down, holding for me and then just that one centimetre lift off the pillow and we're gonna start the timer and observe at the same time. Keep that chin tucked for me. And we're looking here if the individual is coming out of that position or if they're starting to shake or lose quality. We're going to stop the test there. At 20 seconds, we started to lose quality.